Why is simulcast such a problem? Here we have a site, and this is a single transmitter location, and this is where we are. And as you can see, the signal from this site is reaching our radio, and there are no other signals involved here. Now, let's hit a second transmitter location. These two transmitters are linked together and transmitted at the same time with the same data. These two transmitter locations that are linked together and transmitting the same data at the same time are considered a single site in radio reference database, and these will be labeled as a simulcast site. Now, our radio is receiving the same data, but from two different locations, and because of this, the signal from one location may be received by our scanner slightly delayed from signal from the other location. Now, for analog signals, this doesn't really matter, but when it comes to P25 digital signals, this can make or break your scanner's ability to decode the signal. See, your scanner expects the P25 data stream to arrive in a certain format, say zeros and ones, and they need to be in order and the expected sync. And when they are not, then the scanner has no idea what to do with the received data. When the scanner cannot make heads or tails out of the signal due to multiple receive paths, it will not be able to take this data signal and turn it back into something that we can hear. This is why simulcast is a problem with many scanners, and this is why we need a radio that operates like software-defined radios to receive simulcast sites. And this is why the SDS in the SDS-100 and the SDS-200 stands for Software Defined Scanner. Or so I think it does. What do you think? Follow this channel for more scanner radio info.